fully made it through and not only did he make it through he made it to she he fully made it to blastocyst stage overnight which means we are going for transfer today day five after egg retrieval um we're going for transfer today at 12 o'clock so folly is actually going to be put back inside me i cannot believe it i cannot believe it. if you if this is the first video you're watching um of of ours then um let me just explain what happened so um this is our first round of ivf we have been trying for a couple of years now to conceive our third child we've desperately wanted a third child to complete our family for some time and it just hasn't happened we fell pregnant naturally with our first two uh who were now f uh, four and six and um we thought we'd do an IVF cycle when all the tests revealed that we have uh, unexplained secondary infertility. I think it's just they diagnose unexplained secondary infertility when they really have no idea why you're not falling pregnant. So they just label it with that. Anyhow, um, we thought we'd do IVF and everything went pretty well i got i had 12 follicles grow after stimulation i was on max dose of stimulating hormone from those 12 follicles that we were able to retrieve seven eggs from those seven eggs four of them fertilized in the culture dish in the incubator and then on day three which was not yesterday the day before we got the phone call from the um so day one so, so day one after transfer after not after transfer my god i'm a mess because it i can't believe we've got to this point i can't believe i'm going to i'm going for transfer today i can't believe it anyway let me start again so the four eggs that were fertilized fertilized beautifully and were looking wonderful then the following day which is what they call day two after egg retrieval they have a look through the embryo scope at how the four fertilized eggs were going, right? And they had all divided into two cells. So like they've split, they've, they're divided, which is awesome. It's exactly what they're meant to do. Then day three, which was not yesterday, but the day before, at the time that I'm filming this video, um, is where they the embryo scopes, so the incubator grades them. And it grades them based on their development. The embryo scopes taking photos of the fertilized egg and the and the division that happens every 15 minutes and then it basically on day three it spits out a score and then not only that the embryos come out of the embryo scope they change the media culture that the eggs are uh, the fertilized eggs are sitting in and the uh, embryologist also has a look at them and gives them a grade so not yesterday but the day before we had the heartbreaking news that all four of our fertilized eggs hadn't made it so basically um there was supposed to be at six between six and eight cells on on day three and they were at four and five and they had a lot of fragmentation in them which would which would indicate poor quality and basically we were told that we wouldn't be going for trans for this cycle and um that was it that that all of that all of that and everything we'd done all the hormones all the scans all the blood tests all the appointments the egg collection process all the pain everything was for nothing so you'd imagine that that was very that was a shock because to me everything was going fine then what happened so i i i guess by the end of the day i had to accept that there was nothing i could do i just um was very interested to see what the doctor had said i i couldn't wait to meet with him and find out what was next for us based on what had happened this cycle and so um what uh, there's a parking lady parking lady at my door um what what happened next was that um yesterday morning because what they do is they don't dispose of those four embryos but what they do is they um continue monitoring them until day six so this uh, at this time when we got that heartbreaking news was day three and they keep them in the incubator until day six and um however we were told that uh, it wasn't going to go ahead the embryos just didn't make it none of them none of them and then yesterday morning the embryo this is sunday morning by the way so this is day four yesterday the embryologist rings me and says that 
one of the embryos has started developing and had developed to seven cells overnight and was looking okay. There was still about 20% fragmentation, but it was looking really good. And um, you can imagine, you can imagine I just burst out in tears. I couldn't believe it. And at that point yesterday morning, we nicknamed this embryo Folly because, you know, it started off as a follicle. So, you know, folly. And um, at lunchtime, the embryologist called and said that Folly had grown another cell since we spoke earlier that morning and that would mean that Folly was only a day behind where it should be. It's still not great and it, um, she was still grading it at grade three. Now grade three means that it's the lowest grade. They will not transfer grade three because it just won't make it and it's likely to just disintegrate before transfer even. So it's still a grade three, but it was looking better. And uh, yesterday at 12 o'clock was the last time that I would get an update because she was going home and there was nobody there to check the quality and, and the development. So it would just have to wait until overnight, the next day, which was this morning. And um, the nurse had rung me yesterday to say, Alicia, what I still want you to do is come to the clinic today, which would be day five which would typically be my transfer day had I have a good quality embryo. I still want you to come just in case we go ahead with transfer and I also want to do an ultrasound to ensure that there's no fluid in your uterine lining. For some unknown reason at the beginning of my cycle I had this fluid in my uterine lining um, which also would prevent transfer. So if Folly made it through, if the fluid was still there, I couldn't go ahead with the transfer anyway. So I, Corey and I get up super early, 5 a.m. I have the mother-in-law come over to watch the kids and we got here. There was no phone call the whole way here. I was dying for someone to just give me a call and give me an update on Folly um, and nobody did. And then we got to the we got to the clinic and we did the ultrasound. No fluid! And my uterine lining was at seven. I don't know if that's seven millimeters or seven centimeters or what that is. I just know it's at seven and it's it's an okay thickness to support a pregnancy. So if transfer was going to happen, it could happen. Um, and uh, they were going to give folly... Um, Yesterday, when they told me that, that Folly was at eight cells at lunchtime, they said to me that they would give Folly until day six, which is tomorrow. So basically two more days to catch up and to turn into a blastocyst. Otherwise, it, it was just not going to not gonna happen. And when I was in getting the ultrasound this morning, I said to her, tell me about our embryo. It hasn't made it. And she had no idea. So she went and got the embryologist who who we met in a, in a room and she started this like niceties, this chit chat. How are you going with your hormones? I just put my hands on her shoulders and I said, tell me how our embryo has gone. Has it developed further? And she said, Alicia, we're going to transfer today. turned into a blastocyst overnight and um, she said it's not the best embryo it's still uh, quite poor quality um, it has been upgraded to a two, to a borderline two three embryo so uh, one being the best two being okay and three being no go so Folly's just hanging in there but we're going to put Folly back in and hope that the environment of my body is supportive and that Folly has enough strength to implant and make it through uh, the next few hurdles and becomes a little human being that we get to hold and love. I couldn't be happier. I cannot believe it. I'm so proud of our little embryo and even though there is a chance that it might, st obviously there's always chances that it might not happen, I have everything crossed and uh, I just hope with all my heart. Corey's obviously very happy. He's, um, I think he's relieved and he's, um, 
yeah we're just both so happy we're both so thank you so much for watching our journey i'll let you know how transfer goes and i'll probably do a video later tonight so remember to subscribe to our youtube videos Mwah.